DoorDash drivers just spitting on stuff now. Well, let's check out this wild world news, shall we? A food delivery spit and dash. A DoorDash delivery man angry over the tip appears to spit on the food delivery he's just left on a doorstep. Not once, not twice, but three times. The incident captured wow. by ring camera. 13-year-old Elias Crisanto and his mother ordered the food to their Miami home, but say they were disgusted to see the video. They say the $3 tip they included for the half-mile trip was generous. Se puso bravo porque tal vez él pensó que fue una chiquita propina y escupió la comida. Quería vomitar porque ¿quién hace eso? A spokesperson for DoorDash saying, while we empathize with the frustration of not receiving a tip, this behavior is unacceptable, adding they have since removed that worker from the platform. I'm sure. Bye. Hello. But many frustrated delivery drivers across the country are reaching a tipping point. This doorbell video going viral of one driver berating See what they did. after she says she left a 25% tip. Um, I just want to say, it's a nice house for a $5 tip. I remember that. <laughs> You're welcome. Another driver in California <laughs> appearing to take a sip out of a milkshake before handing it to a customer, though it's unclear why. Despite these shocking incidents, DoorDash is only growing in popularity, with more than 32 million consumers each month and more than 2 million dashers, according to a company spokesperson. Food delivery apps can also be used to place to-go orders. So how much should you tip? And what if you pick up the food yourself? Do you tip on top of that when you pick it up yourself? I think I do, but that's just because the option is there. I definitely think I, I do more of like a 10% tip for that. What do you think people should be tipping? I think it's like uh, in most service industries, um, people live off, off of the tips, so be mindful that that can be a uh, very generous help for that person. Some delivery app sites spell it out. Grubhub suggests 20% or at least $5, more if bad weather is a factor. DoorDash and Uber Eats both say a tip is never required, but always appreciated, and 100% of it goes to the worker. At the end of the day, for those making the deliveries, gratuity and generosity go hand in hand. I can't tell nobody what to do with their money. I know what I signed up for. If you tip, you tip. If you don't, you don't. At the end of the day, you have to look in the mirror and know what you did. That's completely up to you. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Valerie Castro joins us now. Valerie, I don't know if I'm going to ever look at my delivery <laughs> the same way. This is again. interesting. Um, so listen, you know, I, I, I agree with all the people in, in your story. You should definitely tip. Mm -hmm. There's also all these added fees that, that get tacked onto your your bill as well. Yeah, I don't Do like that. Do those go to the driver as well? Or those go to the restaurant it. and to the services? They don't. And DoorDash actually lists all of the possible fees. There are seven different fees here. There's a service fee that goes to operating costs for the app. There's the delivery fee that is separate from what the driver is getting paid in a They don't get that. Yeah. They don't okay. get that. And it varies by restaurant. It can depend on where the restaurant is located, how popular yeah. it is. A small yeah. order fee, maybe you only order French fries. They're going to tack okay. on an extra fee because it's such a small order. But again, all of the app companies say that is not the driver's tip. That's all going to, to the keep company. That in mind. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the company can give them some more too. Exactly. Okay, Valerie Castro, we thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Yo, I cannot. Yo, let me tell you something. I cannot stand when they do that. When it's delivery fee, there's this fee, there's that fee. First of all, you're going to confuse people and make them think that that's a tip for the driver. I want full explanation. She had a paper. I'm going to go to DoorDash and check it out. Now, personally, I never use Uber Eats or DoorDash because I like to get my food hot and fresh. I know people that will go to Taco Bell, get tacos, and then take it home. Your tacos are good. If they're crunchy, they're going to be soggy by then. I guess people like soggy tacos. If I eat Taco Bell, I haven't eaten Taco Bell in years, but if I did, I would pull up the drive through eat it in the parking lot, or pull up and eat it in the restaurant. I like my food fresh, just like anywhere else, McDonald's, Burger King, anywhere you're eating out, you know what I mean? That's how I do it. Now, first of all, I remember that story where the dude said, oh, nice job, very fine out of camp. She tipped 25%, okay? It was considered, first of all, for great service, when I was waiting tables, 20%. Okay, and I waited tables for several years, like more than five years, okay? 20%. The minimum was always 10. It's like, you just, whatever. And it, people don't understand tipping etiquette either. A lot of people don't understand. 
Um, so 10%, right? If, if, if anything, the rule of thumb, damn it, at least tip 10%. But if you got satisfactory service or more, you tip 20% or more. That's how it goes, okay? But if you just broke, you're just trying to eat and you got a restaurant, you got holes in your sneakers, try to tip 10%, okay? Now, I didn't know what Uber Eats or whoever it was that it was like, tipping, you know, is encouraged, but you don't have to. I guess they're getting an hourly wage anyway, but it's different if they're living off the tips. See, when you're a waiter, like I was, you live off the tips. You only got paid $2.13 an hour. I remember that. $2.13 an hour, and you lived off the tips. Yeah. Below minimum wage. But I remember hearing that, like, Connecticut was giving people minimum wage plus tips. So that was like, oh, 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 oh. if you wanted to be a, a, a waiter, oh, that worked out in Connecticut wherever it was. So people, look, today it's much harder to live. I saw some numbers the other day where they were comparing how long, like comparing wages from the Great Depression and like now, and like we're much poorer. If that video was true, we are much poorer. So just have that in mind. I always tip 20 if I'm feeling satisfied. Always. And I try to, even if it's a, a smaller word, I try to get five. Or I do get five. Like, you know, Papa John's or whatever. I used to do sometimes small pizza for myself, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But I tell you this, all this, this tipping culture they got going on now, where they got like, um, you go around the corner to your coffee shop, and like right when you pay for the coffee... They're asking you to tip and it never was like that in coffee shops or around the corner at the sandwich shop or the pizza shop. You walk in. Yeah, man, let me get a steak sandwich. Yeah, all right, cool. But like tip? What the hell? I mean, I personally don't think that's right. It has always been if you're sitting down for a meal and you have a waiter waiting on you a server, a waitress, whatever you want to call them waiting on you, those are the people that you tip. And yes, you do you, you do tip people that deliver your food, like the pizza guy and the Uber Eats guy and anyone delivering your food. And, you know, it just depends. Um, you know, uh, you know, I would tip guys that deliver furniture to my house. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I'm saying? It's If you don't know, look it up on what you're supposed to tip on. People tip there. They're, um, they're barbers, they're hairdressers, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, D don't do that. Now, <laughs> dude was so mad, he spit on it. How much did they tip? He said something about they didn't give me a dollar, but it said they gave, they tipped him like $3 or three fifty. So what percentage of the bill was it? I don't know, but some, some people don't even know what they should be tipped. You know, spit on people's food. If somebody had ran out the house and whooped him on the porch, I would have laughed my behind off. So don't go around doing it. Don't spit on people's food. Don't eat people's food. Don't touch people's food. Don't do none of that stuff. You know what I mean? When you're in a customer service type of business, you're going to have to deal with stuff like that. There were times where I never got a tip and I gave excellent service. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, they didn't even leave a damn tip. You know what I mean? So it just is what it is. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think about the situation. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers.